And the second spoiler alert, slightly 18 plus, and it is not the mustache. Hey everyone, Bersik is here, and in this video, I'm reviewing a one-of-a-kind doll named Lulan. I wanted an Asian doll for a while now. I was keeping an eye on the dolls on Yulia Sidorva's Instagram page, a St. Petersburg-based artist. You can find a link for it in the description box, and one day she posted a picture of this doll. It was love at first sight. I bought it ultimately. If you really wish for something, bones aching for it. Especially having a doll collecting hobby, just do it, because it was inspiring and gave me unbelievable emotions and after I got her I had a desire to create shoot more videos so thank you Julia very much for this beauty this is a one-of-a-kind doll based on Cleo from the welcome to monster high collection this collection was made after the remake and Julia shared that it was easier to paint on a remake doll than on an original mold you might wonder if this is Cleo from welcome to monster high where are the bandages and molded body details Julia was very smart she switched the body for the Rosabella Beauty from Ever After High, in this case, where the doll is only wearing lingerie. The body switch makes total sense because Ever After High doll has a very juicy, attractive, more curvy body. I also love the gesture hands in this doll, and I think the body matches the head skin tone very well. Since I decided not to make this doll anybody's daughter, just like Monsters High, I chose a different approach and based it on an idea from My Little Pony from Integrity Toys, where the characters were someone's fan with online nicknames. As you may have guessed, our doll's nickname is Lulan. The first part comes from actress Lucy Liu's name, who is famous for her movies Charlie's Angels and Kill Bill. They have similar hair, rectangular face shape, high cheekbones, square chin, and the most prominent feature is the slanted eyes. In both, they are ascending towards the temples. I'm not crazy about the full name Lucy, so I shortened it to Lu in Chinese fashion. The second part of the nickname Lan is connected to the Disney princess. Why Lan, you wonder? The thing is that in an original novel, a Chinese poem, the main character's name is Hua Mulan, and Mulan is an adaptation. Respectively, we only used the last syllable Lan, it made Lulan. I think it sounds very Asian and beautiful. She is ambitious, strong, independent, but also a modern girl, and opposed to the beloved princess, she washes her face using special makeup remover and not the kimono sleeve. And by the way, this is not her everyday casual style, she is all dressed up for a themed photo shoot, let's check out her outfit. Overall, the doll style turned out to be, in my opinion, Asian and modern at the same time, sensual but not really provocative and very balanced. And I really like the style accessories, the flower band on the head and tassel earrings. The flower band makes a pretty contrast with her jet black hair. The flowers are made out of some thick material, looks like paper? Maybe it's a scrapbook paper. These are roses with green leaves, they are very full and pretty, neatly made, and they are attached to a metal frame using wires. The band fits the head great and holds great as well. She is wearing similar tassel earrings like mine. Not only do they match in color, they also have the same golden fittings. The fittings are metal. The earrings can be easily taken in and out. And yes, these types of earrings are called drape tassels by fashion bloggers. And they're anti-trendy. But Lou and I are breaking the rules and gonna still wear them because they look cool. Black hair really makes them pop. Yes, I've watched too many videos about the anti-trends, but actually I don't care and I got these tassel earrings. I wear chokers, basically anything my heart desires, and I suggest you do the same. The doll's black hair is soft, weightless, airy, jet black color, and made out of goat fur. The hair is curled with the use of foam to form these curls. See, the hair is long. They are a little messy with the hair sticking out, but it can be downplayed like it's the wind. But I always try to move the hair out of the face as much as possible and it's an effort the hair is glued onto the head with a part rooted in the middle it's an asian girl with brown eyes the face paintings are very thin i'm not used to seeing a doll with such eyes with such eyebrows look how realistically they painted everything is so small but distinct the lines are precise thin eyes just look like real ones there's even a shade from her upper lid in a white of an eye take a closer look i also noticed a shadow close to the nose under the brow. Julia contoured the nose as well as the nostrils on the sides. There's a contouring line over the lip, but it's not a mustache. There is a shadow under the lips that forms a realistic looking fold. Lips are red, 
peculiarly shaped, the mouth is open and the teeth are showing. The teeth are peeking just a tiny bit, but anyways, they make the doll's face different, charming with a twist and there are accentuating black lines around the lips and the lip corners. If you look closer, you can see that the lip color is not uniformed, but has lines and shades. The doll is only wearing lingerie and a long robe. When creating the doll, Yulia was inspired by these images. As you can see, it's an Asian girl and just a girl in red. Yulia made this long red robe. I saw a similar robe in the movie Memoirs of a Geisha, but there the sleeves look different, rectangular, and these are triangular and slanted. The sleeves are cut in one with a turned up hemline. Matching red silk ribbon is embroidered along the side of the robe. The fabric of the robe is a red knitted material. It's smooth, pleasant to the touch and stretchy. As Yulia said, the main criteria for picking this type of fabric was that it needed to be flowy and fall down without tucking. And because the robe is long with slits on the sides, the slits go all the way up to the hips, you can beautifully arrange all of the folds like that on the doll. I like it when the robe is opened because why hide all of this beauty? Such gorgeous lingerie and body, but you can hide the nudity by wrapping the robe around with a belt that matches the robe. Where is the belt? you ask. I had it when the doll arrived but I lost it and wasn't able to find it before filming. You can check how the robe looks like with the belt in this picture. The doll is wearing red, lacy, lingerie. Red color can be very provocative so it's important not to cross the line where it would become vulgar. But in this case the lingerie is not vulgar at all. It's aesthetically pleasing and to some degree due to the doll's starker skin tone. I always wanted not only an Asian doll but also a doll wearing lingerie so it's a combo deal. The set includes a bra, panties, and a garter belt that ends with golden rings. I think that if she would also be wearing stockings, that would be too much, but this is perfect balance. Everything is neatly made. The underwear is pretty. I like it a lot. It is see-through. The lace is thin. It is a little problem with the bra because there are a lot of see-through elements. And yes, this doll has nipples. Slightly 18 plus. Yulia painted nipples and accented the belly button and added shading to the clavicles. Very beautiful, stunning girl was made. The garter belt and the bra have metal hooks in the back, very comfy. The doll is wearing shoes from the Welcome to Monster High Cleo doll, the same doll that this one-of-a-kind doll is made out of. They are slightly modified. Yulia cut off the snakes that circled the legs, leaving just the front parts. I think the shoes fit in great with the style and the color. They have molded diamond shapes and high heels. Even the snakes in the front look interesting matching the oriental theme. I hope you liked this review and my Asian beauty that inspired me so much. After I got her, I started paying more attention to new one-of-a-kind dolls and artists. And to tell you in confidence while filming, during the break to be exact, I ordered another one-of-a-kind doll for myself. It only has a repainted face, I'll style it, but I feel very inspired. Give thumbs up for Lulan, she is waiting for your compliments and likes. Such stunning beauty can survive without compliments. I hope we inspired you today a little. Forget all the trends, always wear what you like, buy the dolls that you like, be yourselves and love yourselves. See you soon in new videos. Bye bye!